how we get down if this is your first time tuning in i welcome you with love hugs and kisses baby Mwah! but i need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you could be my cousin because you already know once you subscribe and hit that bell you my cousin okay and listen those of you that been rocking with your girl you already know we be like welcome back back hey back back hey back back hey so you guys i am home um no it's not furnished yet but i want to do something a little different today okay because your girl has low-key been in her feelings a little bit all day and it ain't cute it ain't cute so um self-love um self-care so i bought me some roses um and i'm about to cook me some dinner okay tonight's menu is mashed potatoes corn loose corn loose sweet corn some haitian macaroni and cheese and um some pork chops yeah so we gonna cook and we gonna talk okay don't judge me judge your big toe once again don't judge me judge your big toe okay so let's go into my kitchen all right y'all so welcome to my kitchen okay i have yet i have yet to do the minor upgrade that i wanted to do because those of you that had that did watch the um uh empty apartment tour i was supposed to get an upgraded unit but i did it but we ain't finna be petty no we're not so yeah um there were my fresh roses guys Let's see let it focus oh! i had to get two so it could you know be full so you already know um you know what let me get the other light i'll be right back there we go honey there we go yes so my gift for my crush got me my clothes tote purse because i love purses so yeah there you have it So when I'm cooking, y'all, one, my kitchen gotta be clean. And I like to verify that I have everything that I need. Which I already knew that I had. But I felt like being a little bougie tonight instead of paying for a dinner, I could have easily went out. I could have sat down in a restaurant and paid my food and you know, whatever.
but I just really want to be in the comfort of my own home and not bothered with anybody. And what kind of happened was, I had a very, very, very long day, Wednesday, that took a toll on me mentally, emotionally, and physically, to the point that Thursday, I, Thurs no, Wednesday night, I posted a, um, a post on Facebook, and I said, public service announcements, I will not be answering no calls, no texts, no nothing. If it's an emergency, call 911 because I really, really, really needed that mental break. So all day Thursday, I did not answer no calls, no texts, no anything. And I kind of did the same thing today and today is Friday. So, yep, that's how I was feeling. I did not want to go out anywhere. I didn't want to be bothered. I just, that's just how I'm feeling. So, you have to always make sure that you are in a good space mentally, emotionally, and physically, okay? Because honey, if you don't make that time to Make sure you good. Nobody else ain't gonna do it for you. And like I always say, in anything that you do, you always wanna make sure that they're able to reap the good version of you, the better version of you, the healthy version of you, because everything we do, we're pouring out. It don't matter whether you counseling, whether you're just being there for somebody, working, you know, whatever it is, you're always pouring out. So you want to make sure that you're, you know, recharging yourself or giving yourself that balance and not pouring out everything and being exhausting, being exhausted and completely depleted. So yeah. There's a lot I can talk about tonight, y'all, because my mind just been everywhere. But, y'all. And I had to make sure that I didn't fall deeper into um, depression. Because your girl was headed there. Your girl was headed there. And you know how we are. Sometimes we get to thinking too much. And then sometimes we get to overthinking. What happened with me is I went to overthinking. And then I slightly fell into depression. That's why y'all didn't see a video for a whole week. Plus, I was helping old girl move. Plus, I was helping my overseer. Uh, she is running for city commissioner. So, I was serving and being a mother, a single mother at that. So, it was just a lot. And Wednesday, I overdid it. I sure did, y'all. All right, so, like I said, I had to make sure my kitchen is clean before. Um, Now I'm about to um, clean my pork chops with vinegar and, and lemon, well lime. 
pour the hot water on it, season it up. I already got the oven on so that bad boy can bake a little bit. About to put my macaroni to boil and cook the meat for it. Cause y'all know what I say, it's macaroni and gratin. We put meat um, in our macaroni and cheese. The way your girl set up, I'm going to do the instant macaroni and cheese, okay? Because I did not feel like boiling. See that bad boy? It's nice and thick. Ooh, it's thicker than cold peanut butter. Just let it focus. Yes. And I'm also trying to see if I really want to fry it. Because I didn't get the air fryer yet. Don't judge me, judge your big toe. Yeah, so I fell, I low-key fell back into a little depression to the point I didn't want to record. Um, I'm already a homebody, especially when I have my own place. So um, yeah, I was home. I didn't want to go nowhere. I didn't want to do nothing. Um, you know, I just only go out when I have to go out, bring my daughter to um, school, pick her up. Uh, what else? Um, Yeah, and just come home, you know, help her with homework if she had any homework. Yeah, I just really try to, you know, stay low key. Um, and of course, my friends that know me, that know me, you know, of course, they're like, okay, Elda, you know, whoop the whoop. And yeah, so I'm just really, really fighting to overcome that because, you know, you, I, I, I really, you follow me on social media, you know I'm very big on vision, you know I'm very big on affirmation. And one of the things is, even if you're not consistent, you have to be disciplined. Um, and being disciplined, it will, it will push you to be more consistent. So you know I'm just really pushing to get back to that place. I have everything outlined. Um, I had to find space in my closet to re-put up my vision wall because I realized for me, um, when I was in transition, remember I was living with my mom, so I had my vision wall, um, everything on the vision wall at my mom. So when I was preparing to move, I took everything down and I realized that's when I really wasn't as focused or as productive as I was before because I ended up taking my vision wall down. So um, yeah, created space in, um, in my closet so that I can go ahead and get back to it. Um, so yeah, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, getting everything into motion. Um, so, you know, definitely give me some time. Your girl is about to go full blast on everything. I'm talking about, I wasn't 
posting no videos. I wasn't posting no merch as far as the I am she shirts, the ABM shirts, or my book, um, a prayer wife, a prayer wife, my tears to deliverance. I haven't been posting anything. It's just been, I even ain't been on Instagram y'all and no lives, no Facebook lives. I used to go on Facebook live every Tuesday. Stop that. Like I just stopped everything completely. Um, so with that being said, you know, I just had to, I had to regroup. Let me let that come to a hard boil. Yeah. But it's like, yo, how do you, how do you balance everything? You're a single mom, you got to work, you got YouTube, you got merch, you have a daughter, you're in ministry. It's just like, you know, then you your mom's mom. Yeah, you heard that, right? You your mom's mom. Um, and you know how island parents are. Um, so it's just like, it was, it was so much and I, I'm like, okay, something got to shake, something got to give. So I'm slowly finding a balance, but I'm not going to sit here and wait to get all my ducks in a row. I'm just going to grab my ducks and we're going to start crossing over and just along the way, um, we just going to go ahead and get in a row on the way, on the way. We can't slow down. We can't stop. Um, and no longer can we wait or procrastinate any longer, especially if there's a, a place that you desire to be. And yeah, so there's a place I desire to be and I'm doing what I got to do to um, get there. So um, lime and vinegar is sat in it, cleaned it. Pour the hot water, look for anything to lift up off of it. Now I'm about to season it, put it on a cookie sheet, and let that bad boy bake while I make my macaroni and cheese, the Haitian macaroni and cheese. So I kind of want to get the pork chops underneath the oven before we start with the Haitian macaroni and cheese. But yeah, so coming to a balance, you know, we like, okay, God. We come into that balance. Get into a balance. So once we get that balance, I'm gonna go ahead and get back on the schedule. I'm gonna go back to, you know, posting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Friday segments will be the pale, which means talk. And, you know, talk about different topics that, you know, needs to be addressed. Um, the last poly I did was in reference to black men, you know, like giving our black men the atmosphere to go ahead and, you know, um, thrive, grow, be vulnerable um, because we put a lot of expectation on women or black women, but we're not giving that same opportunity to our black men. And one of the misleading things that, you know, we was also talking about is that um, we don't allow the men to be vulnerable, weak, or show emotions, or, you know, and let them be great at, you know, at the same time. So, but I'm um, definitely going to be talking about other things. But anywho, y'all. Try to make sure this thing is seasoned, baby. Cause y'all know me, I'm low key a foodie. Even though I had to denounce my relationship with food because eating was um, my outlet for depression. But your girl is doing way better. I just need to get more discipline in my eating. We're down 12 pounds. We are down 12 pounds. Okay. Look at that. Can you see that? Yes. Let it focus. Yes.
putting a piece in it. Um, you know, I'm Haitian, so this is our blended seasoning all in one. Um, if you got Haitian friends or you Haitian, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that if he's coming clutch, baby, baby. That thing look like it's gonna be so good. All the seasoning, I love the smell of fresh seasoning. But who I smell the seasonings all in my nostril. I wish y'all could smell it, YouTube. Cuz oh, I wish you could smell it, cuz oh, cuz baby, baby. So let me get this done. Ooh, baby. That thing, that looks so nice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and finish real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and talk on am i scared to get into a relationship it's been three years and one of the reasons i realized a cycle because technically september 5th would have been my five year wedding anniversary. But God is good. So it took me a minute to realize why. And then of course paying attention to the cycle, I'm like, it's just around this time, like why do I feel this way? And then it dawned on me when I really paid attention to the date. So um, let me go ahead and finish this meat, finish this macaroni and cheese, whip up this mashed potatoes, get this corn popping, and then we gonna sit, well, we gonna sit on the floor cause I don't have no dining table yet, but we gonna talk on while I'm sitting. So I'll be back. We is finished y'all. Yes, we is. So with that being said, let me back up a little bit. <laughs> with that being said, let me go ahead and show y'all what we have for dinner. We have mashed potatoes. We have Haitian macaroni. Do you see it? Oh, it looks so lovely. We have corn. Yay! And then, y'all see that? Ooh, that that look good. Yes, honey. Yes. Shout out to the homie for <laughs> for cooking with me via FaceTime. She's on my AirPod, y'all, so yeah. But we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 